Hey friends, so we're back again for another week of Coast Kids Preschool at Home. I'm Phoebe and, oh, where's Gloria? Have you guys seen her? Gloria, Gloria, where are you? <laughs> oh, oh, phew, oh hi Phoebe. Sorry I was late. I, I went past a shop that was selling lollies and chocolate and lots of other yummy foods and I just had to stop and get some. Oh, well, that's okay, Gloria. You know what? I love lollies and chocolate. Did you save me? Um, well, well, I, I kind of ate them all already. Sorry, Phoebe. They were so tasty, I couldn't help it. Uh, well, I guess that's fine, but you have to save me some next time, okay? Oh, yes, of course. Hey, well, what are we learning about this morning? Well, this morning we've got some really, really cool stories from the Bible. They're about miracles and about the Ten Commandments and yummy food, kind of like the food you would have just eaten. Oh, they sound like exciting stories, Phoebe. I can't wait. Yeah, well, they are. Do you guys remember the stories about Moses last week? God helped him save the Israelites from Pharaoh. This morning's stories tell us all about what happened after they escaped from Egypt. Can't wait, Phoebe. Oh, let's hear those stories now. The Red Sea, Exodus chapter 14. Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. During the day, God went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud. During the night, God went ahead of them in a pillar of fire. God led the Israelites to the edge of the Red Sea. Pharaoh and his army were close behind. The Israelites did not know what to do. They screamed, We are trapped! What have you done to us, Moses? Moses said, Do not be afraid. God will protect us. God's cloud came between the Israelites and Pharaoh's army. They couldn't see anything. God told Moses, raise your staff over the sea. Then the Lord pushed back the sea to make a path. Moses and the Israelites followed the path through the sea into the other side. But Pharaoh's army was close behind. Moses raised his staff again and the sea swept away Pharaoh and his army. Moses and all the Israelites sang praises to God. They were free. They weren't slaves anymore. Food from Heaven, Exodus chapter 16 The Israelites travelled for many days. They were tired and hungry. They complained to Moses. There is nothing to eat in the desert. At least we have food in Egypt. Now we are starving. God heard them. That evening, God sent birds called quail for the Israelites to eat. The next morning, God sent bread from heaven. It was called manna and tasted like honey. The Israelites found the manna on the ground, but they complained again. We are thirsty, they said. Moses asked God what to do. God said, hit the rock with your staff. When Moses hit it, cool, fresh water gushed out for everyone to drink. While they were in the desert, the Israelites would not go hungry or thirsty again. Ten Commandments, Exodus chapters 19 and chapter 20. God led the Israelites to a mountain. Thunder roared and lightning flashed. The people heard a loud trumpet blast. Then God called Moses to the top of the mountain and said, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. God wrote the Ten Commandments on two stone tablets for all his people to obey. These are the Ten Commandments. God is the only true God. Never make idols. Never misuse the Lord's name. Rest on the Sabbath day. Keep it holy. Honour your father and your mother. Do not murder. Husbands and wives must not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not tell lies. 
never want what belongs to others. The Israelites needed a place to worship. God showed them exactly how to build a special tent. It was called a tabernacle. God placed a cloud over the tent. Whenever the cloud moved, the Israelites packed up and followed it. Welcome back guys! Wasn't that a cool story? You might have noticed that I'm in a little bit of a different place than usual. You might be wondering, what's all this blue stuff? Well, remember how God helped Moses part the Red Sea in the story we just heard? I kind of have my own version of the Red Sea. This is like a little bit like what it would have been like with the water all up the sides, walking through the Red Sea. Kind of scary, eh? But also super, super cool. I've got some other things with me from this morning's story. Hmm, can you guys think what part of the story this food might be from? If you guessed that part where God sent food to the Israelites when they were complaining, you are right. Isn't it cool that they just found some of the food on the ground? God must have really, really cared about them to give them food even when they were complaining. Alright, I've also got this here with me today. Do you guys know what it is? It's the Ten Commandments. These are some of the rules that God wanted the Israelites to follow so that they would be able to lead really good lives. Okay, let's take a look at the last thing I've brought with me today. Hmm, I wonder what this could be. It's fluffy, it's white. Hey! It's kind of like that big cloud that God sent to be with the Israelites and show them where to go. I think the actual cloud would have been a lot bigger than this one, eh? Alright, so those are some important things to remember about this morning's story. How about we go and see what Gloria's up to? Hey Gloria! Oh, welcome back Phoebe! What have you been up to? Well, oh, well not much really. I was actually just thinking about what we learned this morning. God really cared for the Israelites. He really cares for us, and he watches over us too. Yeah, you're really right. I think it's really important to know that God is always there for us. And it really doesn't matter if we're having a hard time, or we're upset about something, or we're happy, or we're angry. We can always talk to God and go to him for help. Oh, yeah, we can because God is our friend. He's always there for us. That reminds me of a verse I read in the Bible, Phoebe, just the other day. The verse says that God tells us, Do not be afraid. I am with you. Do not be terrified. I am your God. I will make you strong and help you. I will hold you safe in my hands. That's a really helpful verse, eh? Hey, you guys might have a mum or dad or special person that looks after you. They might give you yummy food or take you to see your friends or play fun games with you. They do all of these things because they love you and want to look after you and make you feel safe. God is just like that to us also. Cool, right? Oh, super duper cool. I love having God as my best friend ever. Today we heard some awesome stories about Moses and the Israelites and how God cared for them and kept them safe. Oh, we sure did, Phoebe. Thanks so much for joining in this morning, friends. We love to have you joining in with our Bible stories. Yeah, we hope you guys are enjoying going back to preschool or kindy or daycare or spending time with your family. Don't forget to join in with us again next Sunday. And remember, God made you, he loves you, and Jesus wants to be your friend. See you next week. Bye. Woo!